Grace Armand, who's actually a very good friend of mine, offered to do a feature article on me in her magazine. And she was going to call the article The King of Design, which is another purpose altogether. So I said to Grace, I said, you know, I don't really like to do these articles unless I really know what the questions are. And so send me the questions in advance, and I'll go through everything, and I'll, I'll answer the questions. So I got the questions, and then the other thing she said is, I'm not going to let you shoot this piece in New York, and I'm not going to let you shoot a piece that is similar to anything you've done before. I always shoot my editorial pieces in red, and there's lots of big jangly things hanging from the ceiling and stuff like that. She said, I want you to shoot at a hotel in Los Angeles so that people in Los Angeles know that you're there, and I want you to shoot something that's very modern and much different than what you usually do. I said, okay. So I met her out there. And while we were shooting, she said, the questions, the answers to the questions that you, gave, that you gave were very dry, and they seemed very rehearsed. She's like, I don't feel like you're letting people know who you are as a designer, especially if you want to expand your brand as a new market. So I said, okay, Grace, you come over tonight, and we'll discuss what it is that you think that I should do. So she came over. Grace is from Portugal. She stays out until 4 o'clock in the morning every night. So she came over at like 11.30 and we sat up on my pool and we had a couple of bottles of champagne and we talked for hours. And she said, tell me the story about this. And we talked. Tell me the story about the other thing. She said, tell me the story about how you got a, a job as a driver in a flower shop and that's how your career started. I was an illustrator. I was in art school. And I got a job as a driver in a flower shop while I was in school and their head designer got sick right after I started. And I had to step in because my whole school schedule was based on having this job and paying for my college and everything else. So I, um, Grace and I sat for hours, and three weeks later, I got this image, which was the image of the piece that I shot for her in the magazine. So I said to her, Grace, it's fantastic. I love the image. Now, when are we going to redo the interview? And she said, oh, we did that already. And I said, well, what do you mean we did that already? I never answered the question. She's like, that night by the pool, you answered the question honestly. And I was like, oh my God, Grace. I was like, that was a private conversation between two friends. And she said, if you really want people to know who you are as a designer and you want to expand your business into a new market, you have to offer to them what makes you unique that only you can do in your industry. So this is an article about me drawing, it's about my art background, and it's about my process, and I think the process of how we design our parties and how we present our parties to our clients is why we've been successful for a long time, and I think that I forgot about that along the way. So my, my dilemma now was to contact all of these people in Los Angeles who thought that I was a party planner and explain to them that I apologized for what they thought, but it wasn't true. I had no idea how to do that because I had already blown my chance. So when the story came out, I started to invite people over for cocktails because I also like to play. So and as they came over and they got to know me and they got to know my personality, we would talk at the dining room table and I would draw a few sketches and they would say, we didn't know you did that. And then I would draw a few more sketches and they said, we have a client that might be interested in something like that. And little by little, an investment that I made that I thought was going to be a disaster started to pay off in little steps. So this is the... Um, this is the article that came out, and it really talks very honestly about who I am as a person, who I am as a designer. I do a tremendous amount of television, and you know the cameras and the networks want you to be very fancy and very flamboyant and stuff on television, but that's not really who I am. I'm very shy, honestly, and um, you know to try to come off like a rock star on TV all the time isn't necessarily the easiest thing in the whole world if you're a shy person. So this is an article about our process, about places that we've done things and about who I am as a designer. Now the reason I, I'm going to talk about collaboration tonight is because also in this article, in some of our events in Utah, I'll show you some of the pictures of that later, it talks about a very famous celebrity wedding that I just did. It was the wedding of Kelsey Grammer and Kate Walsh. Kelsey actually got married while he was still married to his former wife. So imagine dealing with the press on that. And I took the because he's one of my best friends, I took the responsibility of planning his wedding on in our company, even though I am clearly not a wedding planner. So the morning of the wedding, we're hanging up a 2,000 pound floral chandelier in the Plaza Hotel, 
that my phone rings and my assistant answers it and she says, it's your client. Because she was already over the soul. And Kelsey gets on the phone and he's like, I need size five socks for my kid in black. And he hangs up. And I said, what was that? And they said, that was the fall of the plan got, not the design. That was the last part of the plan. <laughs> so what I'm, what I'm here to talk about today is, is how we can, as event professionals, collaboration is one of the most important things in, in the event world, as far as I'm concerned. More pictures from Kelsey's money. So collaboration is a 